Well, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, oh my legionnaires, here it is, the game I promised I would make, a let's play of, or the new game I've been talking about, it's Space Marines. Uh, I know this isn't the newest game on the market, but I do so enjoy this game, it's carnage and blood and slaughter, oh, I just feel so giddy and happy when I play this game. Anyway, this is an awesome game, and if you haven't played it, or even... Even if you don't want to play games like this, it's a third person sort of shooter thingy thingy thingamajig. If you don't aren't into these games, I would still recommend that you just check it out. It's just so freaking awesome. It's set in the Warhammer universe, so I know stepping from another Warhammer game into another Warhammer game. It's well, it's just it's just this time it's just how it is. It just became that way, and so it is. It wasn't planned, I just thought, uh, you know what would be good to make a let's play of Space Marines. So, I did it. So, I'm going to play the campaign. There is a online multiplayer also, but it's dreadful. Since last time, or at least last I played was dreadful. It was, they didn't have any dedicated servers, so there was lots of lag. Lots of lag. I've already completed it on normal. And easy is not just isn't fun at all, so I'm going to play it on hard. And there will be lots of death, I think. Yes, I'm starting a new campaign. So, in a grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, Priority alarm. Xenos invasion force detected. <laughs> Oops, I'm feeling a bit silly. I'm feeling a bit silly and oh right I could skip that it just tells you that uh, you're going to deploy the space wings to take care of the signal threat on the forge world captain Titus the orcs have massacred the forge world's forces and they have taken the planetary defense weapon I don't know if I'm supposed to talk over that or not Keeps us but I'm back as well they loot the we'll see we'll see Hopefully you can read the subtitles if I'm talking like I am right now. Get the ship to safety. Sort of, yeah. So this is uh, presenting the characters of your squad and the ones you're going to play. And sort of like just an introduction to the game and the space marines and their awesomeness and all their glory. You know, we are, you are playing as the chapter ultramarines, not my favorite. Still. We need to get to the surface to take out the gun battle. What do you want to go home already, Sergeant? Not before having a word or two with the orcs. Awesome old man. Is that wise, Captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Oh, try to keep up. It doesn't look like he cares if the Codex Astartes support that action. Really. Let's see. No, it doesn't. It looks more or less like he's a total fucking badass. Badass. And he's going to kick some ass! Yeah. And an orc ship. A large, gigantic, huge orc ship with large freaking cannons. Just obliterating everything. Except for the lone little space marine. And this is where we we take over. This is... A lot like sort of a, oh crap, it's sort of a introduction to the game and the controls more than anything. And these snuffling are just so good. However, if you aren't careful, you see the life bar you have up there. Oh! I don't remember how to do anything in this game, I'm, I'm going to die. It's pretty easy, I think. How do I stun him? Oh, I stunned him. Ah, there we go. So, uh, to get HP back in this game, you have to stun your opponent and then use finish or something. That's the only way. Uh, oh, F. F and E. If I press the F button, I will stun him, and when I stun him, I can use E button like that. Oh! And you just utterly bloody obliterates them. So, 
so yeah. And this is pretty much how the game is. It's gory and it's awesome. It just feels awesome, it handles awesome and the weapons are just magnificent. I love them. Especially some of the later weapons that you can get, like the large hammer you can get. The... what's it called? A, it, it's a huge ass hammer and you just obliterate everything in your path with it. Although you have to be quite aggr aggressive to utilize that strategy, but that isn't a problem really. And like I said, you just bloody obliterate everything in your path. It, it cuts a bloody swath through the enemy forces. No, I will not, sir. Indeed, I will destroy your ship more than anything. Press F. There we go. Oh, crap. Grenades! Grenades! I'm getting out of that. Yeah. I did, I did a good decision there. Getting out of that area, I feel. Also, in this game, it pays to be a bit more aggressive. But right now, I'm going to have to jump backwards because he's having range advantage over me. So they did, but then I blew them to pieces. <laughs> oh crap! Oh. Die! 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 Oh right, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm continuously pressing the. Uh, Fin the stun button and wondering why isn't he finishing him? And then I and then I just looked and uh, thought to myself, "Oh my God, you are an idiot!" But but then again, I'm allowed to be an idiot sometimes. I th I think all of us are allowed to be idiots at some points. And recording this and trying to <laughs> play it at the same time is uh, well. It's hard to concentrate, to be honest, but that is isn't a big problem. And bye-bye! Yeah, you run. And that is one large f***ing ship. But that does not matter. One space marine can destroy them. I really like the Warhammer universe both the 40k and the fantasy settings. Wow, it's one large ship. It's really it's huge to be honest. But it would seem that it can be brought low by the smallest of things. Well, not smallest perhaps, but a small thing. I mean, a space marine compared to the size of that ship isn't... It isn't even comparable. It, well, it, it is comparable, but size-wise, they aren't. The space marine is just so much smaller, even though they are quite large, to be for being humans or sort of weird humans. That's got a lot of cybernetics implants and other weird as stuff in them. But did I complain? Captain Titus, being a space badass. Orc shot me off course. I've had no word from Leandros. But I'm picking up box chatter from Imperial Guard forces on the ground. I scarcely thought anyone would be left alive, much less still fighting. Heading towards the front lines now. You do that, I'll catch up with you later. So that was chapter one. Chapter one is basically just like, oh, well, learn to move your character and control the game. How do you finish them? And stuff like that. Oh, the accuracy of this gun is terrible. But then again, I'm not using it for its accuracy, but to weaken the enemy forces before I make my advance on them. There we go. No running away from the space marines. What's going here, I wonder? Is this where they were? Yeah, it is. Is there something up here? Nope, no, no servo skull. There are servo skulls uh, spread out on each of the maps and chapters that you can collect. They're like collectible if you want chiefs and stuff like that. Not that I really care, I was just curious. Oh, and these things grant you weapons, new weapons. Here, I get the bolter. 
I can still have the bolt. Uh, I already know how to this use bolt. See, now they might have range, but I also have a better range, so they don't have that same advantage over me. Now, I'm going to be running around with the bolter a lot until I get my other thing, the other melee weapon, the chain sword. I'm going to use the bolter since the bolter is far superior to what you have in the beginning. Well, you can try to kill me for that. Another one dead. Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah, but I must be blind. And another one bites the dust. So, come out, come out wherever you are, little orcs. Oh, I hate this place. I do absolutely hate this place. It's dreadful. On, on the another thing, that guy right there is the one that the other guy was talking about. This is Leandros and not the veteran sergeant that was talking to us through the comms earlier. Leandros is sort of a the newest addition to this squad. And well, the other old guy is like just an old you know, not 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 a lead style, not, not a lead type of guy, but he's been in so many campaigns that he's got the routine of killing everything in his past. Also, me saying that this place was horrendous, I was apparently wrong. This place is pretty easy, and this is on hard difficulty. Can't imagine why I thought this would be what was hard on the. Normal difficulty, really. The orcs does not stand a chance. Ah, oh, that's just brutal. That's just plain brutal. Taking his legs out and then killing him. Are you wounded? The Codex Astartes warns against using jump packs to leap blindly into enemy fire, and for good reason. Your days as a novice are behind you. Why do you still interpret the Codex so narrowly? As you can see, he's... I looked at its rules for guidance. He's, he's, a, he's a white the knight of the morals and the code. He, the he's very keen on always following it, it would seem. However, it would seem that he breaks the code here since he doesn't put on his helmet again. I do think that's part Enemy, of the Astartes. That you have to have to you know, However, I have not read the Codex of Startis. I haven't got a clue. I'm just saying what I think or what the game sort of, I think, tried to imply here. 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 And, uh, blah, blah. So. Right. Writer, writer, writer. Sedona's picked up local Imperial Guard communications. I think I'm going to try to uh, hook up with uh, the uh, other guy, and then that would be it for, to, for this starting episode, I feel. Since I've got to have a timer on to see how long the episode is going to be. In the future, I'm not going to limit myself to this. I'm going to try and... Uh, have a timer on at all times so that I can see how long I've been playing and I'm going to try to make around half an hour perhaps let more, perhaps less sometimes anyone if I feel that it would be a good place to stop and they sorely need to do someone here but I'm not allowed to because they are just obliterating everything it's going to come back and bite me in my ass I feel Another cutscene. There's a lot of cutscenes in this game, uh, but not enough for it to be irritating, though. We thought you did. We would be, my lord, if not for the lieutenant. Where will we find this lieutenant? At the front lines, 
Follow the trench network to the lieutenant's command bunker. That's one hard le lieutenant to be able to keep them alive. This knows. Then we find this lieutenant. We need updated intel on the gun battery. So find Sidonus and find Sidonus, find the gun and shoot them. Shoot everything in your way. Only an in death to duty, and yeah, that's sort of the uh, Space Marine and Imperial Guardsman motto that you fight no matter the odds. Though a lot of Space Marines are known for to look down on the Imperial Guardsmen since they're not Captain, taking this motto I'm in as position at a broken monument near the guard lines. heavily, sort of broken monument. Could this be it? Well, yeah, I've played the game, this is it. So Oh ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. would you look at that? Yeah, there he is. Our fine gentleman, Sidonus. Ah, look at him. Just standing there like, what up? Sergeant, I ain't even broken a sweat yet. I see you found something or something like that. I don't know. Worry not, Captain. I've saved some orcs for you. Oh, how kind of you. I'd be very, very disappointed if you got didn't. That gun well defended, no mistake. Typical orc behavior would be to dismantle or destroy the gun. And certainly not use it to keep our forces at bay. Hmm. There's a strategy behind it. Their leader is no fool. This day is getting interesting. The plot fucking thickens, so what do you say? <laughs> so I'm going to get the chainsaw out of here. Oh yes. Oh yes. If the horde hasn't turned on itself, it's still under his control. Oh yes. I love the chainsaw. I'm just going to show the chainsaw here. And then I'm going to quit for this time. Oh, I think that you're able to do that. Only. So, knock him out and then... Oh, I had ho uh, hoped that he would use a, f a chainsaw finisher there, but he didn't. Let's see if we can get one of those before I quit. Also, I don't know how this is going to work. If, uh, how it works saving. Now that's brutal. Now that's very brutal. So I'm just going to say that. Oh, this checkpoint. So I don't know if we've had a checkpoint or not, but that doesn't really matter. I think. I, th I think the checkpoint was getting him. So I'm going to end here. Um, and yeah, I've been Fabri Bourbon. If you like this uh, Let's Play and want to see more of the Warhammer 40k Space Marines, uh, like, leave a like and comment. And if not, well, you can still like leave a comment if you want to, saying that it's rubbish and you don't want to see it anyway. Uh, subscribe also if you want to be kept up to date with the when I put out, out new videos. Uh, I've been Fabri Bourbon, and this has been Warhammer 40k. Best Marines, and I'll see you next time.